89.9 KGRG, Everett Erickson here, and that must mean that it's time for another Mixed Review. This is the review segment where we take a look at all that's good in a movie, and then all that's bad. Today's movie for review is Suburbicon, directed by George Clooney and starring Matt Damon. When the Lodge family's house is broken into by two murderers and the family matriarch is killed in seemingly cold blood, it seems like nothing could make matters worse. But then, everything does. These animals took everything from us. I have to make decisions like what's best for the family. Any progress on the investigation? A mobster got killed a couple of days ago. I can end the conversation real quick. I'm sorry for his loss. Of uh, life? Yeah, I guess he probably is too. Nobody speak. Now it's time for The Good Review. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious. Not many films can create such a seamless ambiance as the new Suburbicon. The era of the 50s has been recreated to perfection, except everything's just a bit off, which amps the tension up in every moment. This is achieved through amazing use of set, costumes, and props, but also of lighting and color and most of all, music. However, what really shines out is how well the cast is put together. Even the child actors and those playing characters with only a few lines are portrayed amazingly. The absolute breakout of the film has to be Oscar Isaac, who steals the show in every scene he's in. The movie has so many twists and turns. Saying it's a roller coaster ride is an understatement. But by far, the most shocking one of all is the climactic reversal, and that you'd have to see to believe. I give Suburbicon five out of five stars. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. And now it's time for the bad review. Non sequitur is Latin for does not follow. There's also an apt description of this film. Characters say and do things with seemingly no rhyme or reason, but everything is presented as normal. Once Julianne Moore just goes off about how many people pray to St. Patrick just to get pregnant. There's an entire subplot of a racist mob ganging up and attacking the only black family in the neighborhood, but it has no significance in the greater narrative. The whole thing just feels like George Clooney found a rough draft of the Fargo script and passed it off as his own. Confusion, delay, and constant deus ex machinas don't make for a good mystery, and all of the jokes and twists in this were blown by the two-minute trailer. I give Fargo 2, or sorry, Suburbicon, zero stars. And there you have it. You've heard two reviews from both sides and both opinions on Suburbicon. So if you want to see it, that's up to you. But whatever you do, make sure you tune in next week for more Mixed Reviews. 89.9 KGRG.